All right. We're going to load up some 9mm today. I'm using 700X and uh, Barnes Bullets. I'm uh, using a four to four point two grain drop. I don't need them right now. I hope that don't mess up the lighting. No, that looks pretty good. Oh, let's see. Everything good to go. Oh, aha. I should turn on my powder charge, huh? Forgot all about that. Set the chain. I mean, that's see people cranking them down. See that spring? Just enough to pull it back into battery. I don't know why people have trouble breaking that stuff. I've loaded quite a few thousands of rounds on this thing. Now, I have not yet broke my chain. Oh, it acted funny, so let's do a test on it. See what it's got to do. Okay, now it's calibrated. Clear that. What the heck? Oh, haha. <laughs> Grains. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Usually takes a couple. Of... Oh. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> there you go. Screwing up. Not like making a video and screwing everything up. That's okay. If it ain't a... Screwing something up, it's no fun to watch, huh? Okay. We won't turn them on right now. <laughs> Start over. And of course. It's one thing I don't like about this Hornady scale. You let it sit for a few seconds, the damn thing shuts off on you. Not nothing worse than that. Okay, 4.0. Slippery little sucker. Lubricate. 
And yes, I do lubricate my cases even though I'm using carbide bits. Or car carbide bits. Carbide dies. 4.1. I know it's pretty consistent for this target load I'm doing. 4.0. Yep. 98% of the time that's what it is. 4.0, 4.1. Okay. Put that little sucker right there. Now, we can turn this on. Oh. Check. Looks pretty good. You can see that. I always check the first couple. Looks pretty good. I think we're okay. Ain't like I don't have enough experience on it. And we are shooting for 1.13 with this barn bullet. That's what they uh, recommend at the manufacturer. I have uh, did it to my load data and got high pressures. Went down to what Barnes recommends, 1.1310. Perfect. And everything seemed to be okay. So it's relatively good. Machine's nice and smooth. Keep it clean. Runs good. I also had uh, problems with my uh, decapping die. So I put an old uh, resizing die in there to deprime. I haven't had a lick of problem since. I don't know, it's my decapping die. Matter of fact, here it is. I don't know. I don't know if that's bent or what, but it just does not like to push out 9mm primers. Not even on the single stage. I got to fight with them. And I decap everything because I wet tumble. I just don't know. I think I'm going to have to buy another one. Hold on.